Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. All right, this is gonna be the update video to the Harbor Freight solar panel. It is an extremely sunny day out, so I wanted to go ahead and show, you know, a very crude setup and what it will power. So basically, the solar panel is gonna put out around 18 to 24 volts and up to 10 amps without a charge controller, just coming straight out of that cord right there. So most devices run on 12 volt electricity. If you have something that can handle 18 to 24, then you would be able to run it directly off this solar panel while there was sun out. For everybody else, you'll need some type of charge controlling device. So this one here is an eight amp max, 4.2 volts charging and 13 volts float. It has a solar input and a DC output. Uh, some of them, like the Harbor Freight one, have a DC load output right there, which you can use in some of them aftermarket do this one doesn't so we have it going into two 22 amp hour AGM batteries for a total of 44 amp hours we have a modified sine wave Schumacher inverter that's 410 watts we got a amp meter here which I will clip on here to show amperage All right, so let me get that on. So it's upside down, but it'll be all right. And then we got the voltmeter here. So let's see how many volts we're getting. Cloud just passed over. So we're at 13.82. Oh, I just dropped the lead. 13.82 and let's see the amperage coming in and we are putting out the maximum amperage that this panel rates which is 5.54 to 5.55 in the last video I said 5.45 so I was off by a tenth of a volt but nothing too serious you see we're putting out 5.55 DC amps We're charging well into 13.8. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a four amp load. This will be, let's get that in focus. There it is. Four amps at 12 volts nominal, right? So somewhere between four and five amps this thing's gonna pull. We're gonna plug that right into the cigarette port on the batteries now the batteries act like a buffer between the inverter and whatever you're trying to power kind of like that buffer zone for 12 volt systems it's just good to have them along with a charge controller now like i said this is a pwm charge controller so this is very 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 simple basic system it's not very efficient it's maybe 70 percent efficient and i'll make another update video with the pure sine wave inverter and show what we can actually run so we're gonna plug this four amps in, and you see, it's immediately took a draw down on the battery. Let's stabilize and see where we maintain that. And that's a thermoelectric cooler. And I use that as a standard, because I know it's four amp, between four and five amps. So we're pulling that down. We'll flip the inverter on. And we're gonna turn the fan here on low. And it's just a regular little tabletop fan or um, stand fan, maybe a 16 inch fan. And we'll see here, we're pulling down about four amps as well. So we got about eight amps being pulled out of this battery right now. And let's see where it levels off. And it's 347 right now. So we'll let that run for a little while and see if we can maintain over 12.6 pulling, you know, anywhere between 7 and 8 amps. Like I said, this is 4 to 5 amps on that cooler, and this is about 3.5 amps. But we'll come back and check it in a few minutes. Alright, it's about 4.30. So the panel's been out there about... 45 minutes under load. It's never dropped below 12.6. 
so it has been charging if we do ohm's law at 3.2 times 12 somewhere around 50 watts so the inverter is pulling 50 watts or 40 sorry 40 watts around 40 watts this thermal electric cooler here is pulling 4 amps at 12 volts and that's around 48 or 50 watts so total we're pulling about 90 or so watts out of the 100 watt solar panel and we're maintaining just over slightly battery stable voltages 12.6 you know resting but there are clouds overhead and there's overcast so it's never dipped below like I said 12.6 so it's been hovering around 12.6 all the way up to 12.9 depending on if the clouds are passing and there's clouds overhead right now so we'll look at the amperage I'm pulling about 4.86 and we were getting about 5.55 in total sunlight so I'm going to turn the inverter off and see if we pick up any amperage and we do the voltage should jump up as well so even in cloudy conditions as long as you're not pulling more than four or so amps it will charge the battery because right now the solar is putting in probably around five amps and right around five amps so we're getting an amp trickle charge to the battery and drawing four amps back to that cooler so that's what the panel will run I'm getting almost 100 watts out of a 100 watt panel it's pretty good and when the sun is not being blocked it definitely will charge the batteries and put out 90 to 100 watts and this is on a modified sine wave so I'll do an update again, a part three, with the pure sine wave inverter. Right now this is probably running 65-70% efficient. It's, you know, it's not good. Everything's kind of just slapped together, but it does work, and it will work in a quick situation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.